Amen. So I'm starting to get back to some sort of middle ground now, although I'm not necessarily wanting to go out and enjoy myself. I'm not feeling like I'm existing in some kind of separate universe. Which kind of brings a feeling of just drifting through the day without really responding to anything and without the emotions going up or down and in some ways that's kind of quite peaceful. It's a bit like going down a river on a lilo and just kind of relaxing and letting it happen. You bounce into rocks and obstacles and things but you don't really notice them. And so the bad things don't actually affect you in any way at all. But at the same time you're not really able to look up at the bank of the river where there's like nice animals and nice scenery and all the nice things in life that will bring joy and happiness. You can't really notice and appreciate the good things either. I think that's just part of the detachment cycle that I kind of go through and I don't choose to do it, it's just something my body kind of does. I suppose if I got a cold or fell over and cut myself or whatever, my body would send antibodies or white blood cells to try and fix the problem and then it'd go through a particular process that it's developed over time to try and fight whatever it is that it's trying to fight against and this is the same where my body's identified that something is clearly not right and it's trying to battle with it and the way that it's learned to respond to the suicidal thoughts is just to close off all emotion and let me kind of drift through the day without really feeling anything which as i say isn't a negative place to be it just kind of feels as though you're drifting through moment to moment and that's just what the existence is I've had quite a few questions about rumination because I've used that word a lot in the last couple of days. And what I mean by that is just repeatedly going over the same thought or problem without ever coming to any sort of conclusion. And you just cycle around and around and around and become trapped in that thought and that problem. One of my friends described it as living in a house and there's an argument going on in one particular room and you just stay in that room all the time. So you end up trapped in this fight that's going on there instead of walking away and going to a different room and gaining some more perspective and perhaps re-entering the room with a better frame of mind. And of course, the longer you spend in that room, and your judgment becomes more impaired, the thoughts become much darker and much deeper and your actions become an outcome of those two things put together. And the difficulty with the rumination is trying to stop and just live in the moment because of course, most of the time, if you are ruminating over something, it's not happening there and then it's you going over something that has happened or might happen although it's very easy to say I'm just going to stop doing it when it actually comes in and you get stuck in that cycle it's really hard to break out from it and as I say I think the way that my body has learned to cope with it is to try and just detach from everything so that it takes the emotion away from the problem and therefore I don't need to think about it anymore because it's not affecting me so overall feeling like it's a positive day and it's moving backwards into where I feel like I want to be and where I should be so share subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow